Hey, what time is it? It's learning time with me, Grandpa Jai. How you doing today? I'm doing good. I was thinking about you, and uh, I was thinking about a lesson. I was thinking that uh, today we talk about being helpful, and I was thinking how important being helpful is. I'm sure you've seen people be helpful all the time, and I'm sure sometimes you're helpful. Do you know what being helpful is? Like if somebody was walking down the road and they dropped something and somebody else went over and said, oh, let me help you, and they picked it up for them. That would be being helpful. Or if somebody needed everyone to be quiet so that they could hear something and everybody was quiet for them, that would be helping them out. So... I was thinking about the importance of being helpful. I know that when we are helpful for people, they really appreciate it. And also, too, when we help others, it helps us feel good because we know that we've made somebody else happy. So, some people are so busy that they need lots of help. One person you might think of that you know would be like mom or dad. Moms and dads are usually really busy and they have a lot of things that they have to do. And so if there's any way that you can help them, it makes their job easier. And they may always be asking you to do something. And maybe sometimes you don't know why. Like let's say they ask you to go make your bed or ask you to pick up uh, your toys, or ask you to wipe off the table. A lot of times they ask you this because they need your help. I was thinking of a book that had a good example of someone helping, and I was thinking I'd read it to you today. The book today is called I Am a Big Sister. If you have this book, you can read along as I read. Okay, let's get to it. I Am a Big Sister Written by Carolyn Jane Church Our new baby arrived today. I'm a big sister now. Hooray! I used to be a little baby too, but now I'm big. Look what I can do. I can help when baby feeds, and always find what baby needs. Dirty diaper? Yuck! Let's see. Here's a clean one found by me. Mommy and Daddy say I'm clever, and that I'm the best big sister ever. When we cuddle, the baby wiggles. Give a tickle, baby giggles. Splish, splash, bath. It's lots of fun. Bubbles washing, and then we're done. When baby sleeps, shh, no noise. I quietly play with all my toys. If baby wakes, with cranky cries, I softly sing sweet lullabies. And as baby grows, we'll play together, because I'm a big sister forever. Mommy, Daddy, Baby, me. We love each other, a family. The End you see how it was that she was so helpful to her mom and dad? I'm sure all those things that she did were very helpful to mom and dad and made mom and dad's job easier. And they were very happy with her because of that. Sometimes it's hard to be helpful because the fact is, is sometimes we just don't want to be helpful. Maybe we just want to sit there and do nothing. But the thing is, is... It makes other people's lives better, and 
sometimes people are just having a hard time and we have to try to make their job easier. Sometimes we're just not very good at being helpful. But we're learning, right? So that's okay. We make mistakes. If we find that we're not very helpful, the next time what we need to do is just try to remember that last time I didn't do very good, maybe I can do better this time. If we don't do good, we just need to work harder next time to be more helpful. Always remember, our best is our best, so just forget the rest. So, next time you think about being helpful, think about the little girl and how it was that her parents were so pleased with her because she helped them with the baby and helped make their job a little bit better. Well, that's all the time we have for today. If you'd like to get a copy of this book, I put a link in the description so you can go get your own. Down there. I hope you enjoyed our story and our lesson today. Don't forget to come see me tomorrow and we'll learn something new. Bye!